Hey guys, it is me, Hypersaric, and welcome to Sons of the Forest. So today we're gonna hop into an awesome adventure. We're gonna play Sons of the Forest in hard mode difficulty. I don't know what to expect. And on top of that, to make the game even harder, I'm not allowed to eat any MREs. I'm not allowed to eat any ramen noodles. I'm not allowed to drink any energy drinks and energy bars. The reason being is that this game has a lot of food and it's a survival game and I've already beaten this game and yet I never had to hunt. So I'd love to spice some things up and I'd love to make this game even harder. And there we go, just like that, we're gonna begin the game also. Just because I've played it, I'm not gonna spoil it anything, so no worries. I'm here just to survive on this island. I've also heard some rumors that some people spawn on the beach, some people spawn in the forest, and some people spawn somewhere on the mountain in the winter location, so I'm very excited to see where we're gonna spawn right now. Also, some people did not know that, but this game also has seasons, so we're gonna cycle through winter, we're gonna cycle through summer, spring, etc, etc. So the reason why we are here, we are trying to locate this guy, we're trying to find Barbara, and we're trying to find Virginia. And this is the site map, so let's confirm. Let's close the laptop and <laughs> let's see where we're going to spawn. I'm also very excited to see how things are going to go because I have no idea how it's like to play in hard mode difficulty. I don't know what to expect. And it looks like we are spawning in the middle of the forest. Okay, that's a bit different animation. I've seen lots of people spawn in the winter and on the beach. I haven't seen lots of people spawn in the middle of the forest. I'm excited. <laughs> this is such an awesome start. I mean, again, whatever's happening here in the game, it's not really an awesome start. You know, an airplane, you know, a helicopter just crashed. So that's not awesome. But what is awesome is the adventures that we're gonna experience. Yikes. Poor dude. Oh no, the door hit him. I just realized something. Wait, I want to go down. That must be Kelvin then. I mean, all of you already know Kelvin. It's our helper. That's the guy then. He got hit with a door. Okay. I didn't know that. We got a mysterious white lab coat man knocking us out. And there we go, we wake up. Let's get our backpack, let's get the emergency kit. Open emergency only, why would that be in emergency only? And there we go, ladies and gentlemen, we are in the game. It is beautiful, but before we experience the beauty of it, let's help out our man, Calvin. So I assume he was the guy that got hit with the thing, with the door. So let's help him out. For those who do not know, this is an AI helper. This game is a bit different from the forest because this guy is going to help us out chop wood. He can also hunt. He can pick up arrows. There are lots of other things that this guy can do. This dude is just amazing. That's one of the reasons why I love Sound of the Forest so much is because of this character here. This game doesn't feel so lonely. I mean, if you play with friends, it's not really that lonely. But if you play in single player, which I assume a lot of people are going to play this game in single player. It's just epic that we have Kelvin here. There we go. We're just going to tell him to follow us. I kind of don't understand why we have to be so rude and hit that thing <laughs> on him. But I guess that's fine. He's like, yep, I get it. I'm going to follow you. So... That's it. I don't know what day it is, but before we see the day, we have to get our GPS because for those who don't know, you can check your day in GPS. So let's open this up. Here we're going to get our axe, we're going to get the GPS, and we're going to get the guidebook. Go, let's hide all of that. There are lots of rabbits in one spot. Okay. So yeah, as I said, we'll be required to eat here animals because this game has an abundance of MREs, and I feel like for a survival game... There are maybe too many MREs again. It's just an early access and finally I can see fish. I have 15 hours in the game and this is the first time I see fish here. <laughs> this is lovely. So we'll try to fish here. Kelvin, maybe I can even order you to fish. Maybe he can get ready and then I'll try to fish myself. There we go. Let's try to talk to Kelvin. Get nut sticks, rocks, logs, fish and drop them here then. There we go. Get fish and drop them here. I just got to remember because I think we're going to spend the night around this place. Let's open our GPS. So now our goal is to find Team B. Basically the other probably helicopters, so we need to go to those three purple marks and we are definitely gonna go there So we have spawned around This place. Okay, bloody lovely. This guy's gonna hunt. I have no idea how he hunts and how he does some other things 
Also, this game has an improvised survival guidebook. Okay, we kind of don't need that. We are somewhat experts here already. We're going to try to craft here as many things as possible. I still haven't decided what kind of base we're going to craft. Maybe we're going to craft just a costume base or maybe we're going to craft like one of these log cabins or maybe we'll craft a tree base. I've heard some rumors. Again, I'm not really sure if they're correct or not, but if we're going to build a base on a tree, Kelvin can actually chop that tree down. I don't know if I should trust that or not, but I mean, everything's possible. Whatever, let's hide here the GPS and let's probably go and loot all of these things. We've gotten grenades. I am definitely going to use the grenades. As I said, I'm not just going to use food and other things. We definitely need that tarp. We've gotten paper target. I think for 15 hours, I've only gotten two of those target practice things. I don't know how they work, where you can put them. But right, let's get that. Is there anything else? Okay, there's another survivor here. Well, not really a survivor, another person. Sadly, there's no loot that we can get from it. Let's get some more meds. I think that we should be able to use meds because if I can't use meds, then maybe this game is going to be a little bit too hard. Maybe I underestimate this game because already I've set it too hard and it's not like this game had to be any harder as cannibals and all the other mutants and whoever else lives in this world, they already do lots of damage. I think most of the enemies can already like four or five shot you. If you're on full health and if you don't have full health, like, well, goodbye, basically. So, yeah, we got to be careful. How? Okay, so you've already caught that amount of fish. Hey, stop it. Stop it. Wait, 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 wait. Kelvin, take a break. Wait, stay here. Take a break. Yeah, I'm just going to tell you to take a break. Dude, you already caught enough fish. Stop it. <laughs> Look at the amount of fish the dude got. Maybe I can take all of them. That's it. I can't take any more fish. That's it. Take a break and just relax. I mean, I could tell him to start a fire, but what am I going to do? I think it would be nice to get our own fire. First of all, let's try to equip here an axe. For those who do not know, I highly suggest you to switch your inventory button from I to tab. This way, it'll be much easier to open up your inventory. Plus, wait, did I see something? Nope, I didn't see anything in the forest. And you can open up this backpack by holding tab. So yeah, let's access our axe. And if you want to add more things, you can add the backpack here. And with the right mouse button, you can remove this axe and you can add it. So there you go. Let's get that. So far during the recording of this video, you can't hotkey your axe to number one, two, or three for some reason. Maybe later on developers will add that, but I have no idea. So let's jump down here. Some bushes. Maybe I'll get a few sticks. For the leaves collected. That's it. Here, finally, we can get some sticks. Let's get all of those things and let's probably craft ourselves something nice. Let's craft ourselves a spear because I think that's going to be one of the better weapons in the game that we have. So let's get that stick. Let's get a knife, if I'm not mistaken, and duct tape. What else do we need for a spear? Crafted spear. Oh, we need two sticks, not only one stick, and I don't have another stick. So hey, let's get some more sticks, obviously. Let's go over here and let's craft that bloody stick. And while we are crafting it, smash the like button on the video if you'd like to see more Sons of the Force because I am loving this game. It is amazing. There we go. We've just sharpened our stick. Let's probably add it to the quick slot. Can I add it? Oh no, it removes the axe. Okay, so that doesn't work. I'd rather keep my axe here. So I'll be accessing this spear. Three inventory. Can I craft more spears or you can have only one spear? I mean, I have no idea. Maybe you can get those spears and you can throw them. In any case, we need now more sticks to start a fire and cook some meat. Even though we're not really that hungry. But why not? There are also berries in this game. But to be honest with you, berries are kind of terrible. Here are these berries. They're not that good. They don't restore almost anything. Maybe you can craft like some sort of herbal mixes <laughs> with more berries, but I have no idea. Say, so, let's check out what's the time now. It is 12.13. Okay, I don't think it's possible to restore your health. So how about we pop some of these meds? I feel like that's going to be very important. I said that we're not going to eat anything, but I said nothing about the meds. I think we should be able to use these meds. I think the only other way to get meds is if we find some sort of herbs. And I don't think I ever find those. So you know what? This is a plane crash and this is not a terrible spot to live in. I mean, it is not horrible. I think we should definitely build like some sort of a temporary shelter. Again, we could just put here a tarp with a stick and that should be enough. But I'd like to build something more sophisticated. So we could build a custom base or we could build something like that. We could either build a small log cabin or a hunting shelter. I think let's build ourselves a hunting shelter. I think that'd be kind of awesome. I'll place it around this spot at least for now so we need now to add a bunch of logs and sticks let's try to chop down one of these trees over here and also I wasn't sure that it works on all of the weapons but if you just tap the left mouse button you do a quick attack but you can do a stronger attack if you hold it okay i don't think i've ever used that on this axe i thought someone shot something somewhere but that was just under this game is beautiful also you probably already know that but in order to chop the tree down fully you'll have to kind of walk around it this way you chop it down faster. And if you're going to stay in one spot, you won't be able to chop it down. So, hey, Kelvin, be careful. Don't hit your head with this tree. 
There we go, we've gotten lots of trees. Let's pick that stuff up. We can take one log, we can get another log, and that's max amount of logs that we can get. As I said, we could build our own custom base, but I think for the first night, we should just build something like that. There we go, I've added three logs. We have taken only two logs, but we have cut this other log in half. That is lovely. I'm curious if you could build something like that on your own. Uh, I don't think you can add sticks, but you could build something like that. I don't know. In any case, let's try to find some more trees. I chopped this tree down. Let's get two more logs. I think we need three more logs here, it says. we got one, two, and we need one more log to finish, and then a bunch of rocks. Let's get the rocks. Maybe it's more interesting to spawn here in the middle of the forest rather than spawning on the beach, as I think this game is a lot more pretty in the forest than on the beach, at least in my humble opinion, and the first impression is everything. So spawning here in the forest is a lot better. So let's add that stuff here. Now we need to add a bunch of sticks and a bunch of other stuff. Let's drop the log. And again, guys, we don't even have to chop these logs down on our own. <laughs> we can just tell Calvin. So let's add more things here. We need more sticks and more other things. The worst part is that Calvin can't really protect us. So even though it looks like he's a mercenary, but I think he got like brain damage or something here by falling off of that airplane. So I don't know, maybe we don't trust him with the weapon now or something because he's not going to be able to protect you. Unless I am doing something wrong, but as I said, after 15 hours of playing this game, I did not find a way to give him a gun. I haven't seen anyone else give him a weapon, so I don't think it's possible to give him a weapon. He's not going to be able to protect the base. That is a little bit sad. Let's add one more stone. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have crafted our first shelter. Welcome, Kelvin. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Say, so, hey, we've just saved the game over here. And another cool thing that I love about Sons of the Force is that you can sleep whenever, so you don't have to wait for the night to sleep. But also, let's try to get these logs. I want to show you something cool. So we could build here a fence. Let's try to log on the ground, and perhaps we're going to start... We're going to put this thing here. We're going to put another thing here, so we could start building a fence <laughs> around the base. Maybe we should do that. Maybe we should live here. I don't know. I mean, I just wanted to survive here for a night. Maybe we'll wander around. We'll find a bit better spot. But this place has fish. This place has water. We don't even have to wander around. And check this out to make this thing look even cooler. We can go over here. And we can add here some spikes. There we go. Let's add some more spikes over here. And there we go. <laughs> this is awesome. Except we need many more trees to finish doing that stuff. Some people love caves in the forest. And some people don't like them. But no matter if we like or we don't like caves. We will have to go to those caves. And we can even see a cave there in front of us. So I think we should go there. As we will get lots of awesome items in those caves. But I'm going to drink here a little bit of water. And I don't really know if the fish spoils or not. I've never crafted here a drying rack. So how about... We craft the drying rack. Some of the game still tries to teach me some tutorial stuff. So you can remove the thing by holding. See? Okay, I didn't care about it. Let's put this stuff back. Let's sharpen the log here again. And hey, let's go to the building menu by clicking B. And there should be a few traps. So let's... No, not storages. Or maybe it is in the storage. Let's try to find our drying rack. There we go. There's a drying rack. And we need 13 sticks. So how about I place it over here? Let's rotate it. I'll add it close here. Again, I know that this base is not perfect. It's just a basic shelter. But as of right now, it's better than nothing. So I'm going to add a bunch of those sticks here. We still need seven more sticks. So I'm going to chop down a bunch of these little things. I'll get as many sticks as possible. And also, this game has a lot of beautiful seasons. I think right now, I, I don't know, maybe it's summer, maybe it's spring. I have no idea. I mean, it's raining. I don't really know if it rains during the summer in Sons of the Forest, but it looks like it's probably spring here. But when the winter comes, this game becomes even more beautiful in my opinion. Probably all the seasons in this game look beautiful, but winters here look especially realistic. I don't think I've seen a better looking winter game than Sons of the Forest. Like seriously, graphics in this game are on another level. I know on YouTube through compression, it might not look amazing because of bitrate and other stuff. But if I don't move here, there's less compression and you can see that this game looks absolutely beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. So how about we try to add here some fish? Okay, I have some fish. There we go. Let's add one, another one, and another one. I've never done that before. So let's close it. Uh, and let's perhaps get some more fish. I don't know how long they dry. But this is my first time trying to dry fish. Let's get this one. Let's get this one. And we got one more fish here. Let's probably drink some more water. In this game, you don't really have to boil water. You just drink it like that in the forest. You had to boil water. Did not get any sicknesses or anything. But here, just drink water off of the pond and you're good. So yeah, let's add some more fish now. One, two, and three. There we go. That's great. We are already surviving, ladies and gents. And there's one more thing that I'd love to do. I know that this guy caught us some fish. 
but how about I go and I try to catch some fish myself. I've never done that before. I don't even know how does one catch it. Or maybe he caught all of the fish here. Wait. I got it! <laughs> we caught a fish! This is epic. I thought that this game doesn't even have any fish. Because as I said, when I started playing it, I couldn't find any of them. Again, I didn't really live close to these spawns. I spawned at the beach. At the beach, I saw no fish. And that's it. Are there any more fish here? I don't know. Can I go underwater? It's very murky. I think we caught all of the fish. Maybe it respawns every few days. I don't know for how long this rain is going to last. But, I mean, we could cook something. So, how about we open our inventory. We get one of these sticks. Let's equip it. Oops. Uh, with the left mouse button. Now we have to look on the ground. And let's break these sticks. Like this. Like that. Now we can start a fire. Hopefully it's going to work in the rain. It does work. I do know it's a survival game. Maybe... It's supposed to be a little realistic, but the guy just used green leaves and wet logs and he started the fire. Dude, be careful. <laughs> be careful. Sometimes he sets himself on fire. That has to happen before. Go, let's drop that thing and we got leaves. I think we can add more leaves for the thing to burn brighter. Okay, I think the rain has kind of stopped. So I'll wait for the fish to cook. Also, you don't have to feed Kelvin. He's gonna feed himself. So do not worry about Kelvin. And while the fish is cooking, how about I see how to craft a torch? I think we'll require to get more sticks. How about we get this thing? And how about we chop down some of these smaller logs? I thought I saw something. Nope. I don't even know if on day one anyone's gonna come here to disturb us, maybe. I have no idea. Whatever. Let's get some of these sticks. The fish is drying. We are doing things, ladies and gents. We are surviving. And I think my fish is ready. So we could go and get this fish. It's cooked fish. It's already collected. I don't know for how long it's going to last in our inventory, but it doesn't last forever. So how about we eat it? It was a cooked fish. It looked like we ate a raw fish, but it was definitely a cooked fish. But it indeed seemed like it was kind of raw. We should also craft a torch because I'm pretty sure a torch is infinite. How does one craft a torch here? Okay, we need this and a rag and I don't have any more rags. So we should definitely explore. So let's try to save here once again. And there are a few things that we should go to. We should go to these purple marks probably first as they are a little bit more important. But there's also a cave in front of us. I'm kind of scared of that cave. I think going to caves without a flashlight isn't very smart because this game has a flashlight. So we should get that flashlight. So maybe we should go to that purple mark first and then we're going to come back here. I think that's where we live. I think we should be able to come back to our base and maybe the fish is going to dry by the time we get there. But also, maybe we could get to this cave. I don't remember what's the cave here. So maybe I'm going to leave Kelvin here at the base. The guy can stay here. He does not have to follow me. So Kelvin, just relax. Just enjoy your day. We have some mushrooms. I don't know if we can eat them. Those mushrooms definitely don't look as if they are edible. And check this out. Once we are in the forest, it looks like even a completely different game. <laughs> it's even more beautiful. <laughs> it's just absolutely gorgeous. So I want to try to go to this cave because... Some of the caves might have some epic loot. And I want to see what is this cave. Because I completely don't remember. On our way, maybe I'm going to go and hit a few of those sticks. And there we go. I think that's going to be the cave. So how about I go lower? And what is this? Okay, so there are just rabbits and some other things. Okay, so I don't remember this cave at all. I'm going to get some more things. We've gotten duct tape. We've gotten an energy bar or something. But as I said, we're not eating that stuff. More meds. So another quick tip and trick on how you can save to not lose your progress. Let's say you wandered far away from your base and you don't know how to save. You don't really have to build that huge thing. You can just build a temporary shelter with tarp. So that's what I'm going to do. We've gotten an MRE meal. I'm not eating that. We've gotten an energy bar. And also, maybe I should explain a little bit more why I don't want to eat those energy bars and MRE meals is because I've been in this game. And I almost never had to cook. I think I cooked maybe only once or twice for just education purposes and that's it. And it never really felt like I had to survive in this game as there were lots of MREs and ramen noodles and other things. So how about we don't do that? How about we survive? So let's get some tarp. We can look now here on the ground. We can drop this tarp here. And all we have to do is just add one more stick. And that's it. There we go. Let's add that. Now we can save the game. And there we go. To collect this tarp, you don't really have to even keep it. You can just hold C. There we go. Let's remove that tarp and let's get it back in our inventory. The game is saved. 
so we can hop into this cave. Who knows, maybe in the future developers are going to change that because maybe it's a little bit too easy now to enter those caves. But we'll see. Also, by clicking L, we can get this lighter. So that'll be something. If it's a huge cave, it's a very scary cave with lots of mutants and lots of whatever else. I don't think we're going to be looting it because it is a little bit too hard. We've gotten some other things. Again, I don't think it's a spoiler, but this game also has a can opener. So then with that can opener, we should be able to open up the canned food. But also, it's not just canned food. It is... It's cat food. Because when we add that thing, it says cat food. This game is kind of ridiculous, if you ask me. Because you have to go and find a can opener to open up cat food. Which is kind of ridiculous. Alright, let's probably go deeper. I don't think we have here anything else. If this game has... Creepy schmucks here... This cave is something... Oh, wow, there are a bunch of skulls. Yikes. See, I think I remember this cave. It's not a good time for us to go there yet. Yeah, there we go. There are definitely some mutants. There are definitely some cannibals or whatever you want to call them. There are some monsters. I should not go there yet. As it's definitely a bit too early, I only have this axe. And plus, we play on hard mode difficulty. So, yeah, I won't be able to do anything there. So, let's try to leave this thing. At least we've gotten some of the resources. Oh, plus we've gotten a bottle here. We should be able to craft a Molotov. Let's turn off here the lighter. Plus, we've gotten another recipe. Oh, yeah, with this thing. Now we can craft ourselves a torch. So, there we go. Let's combine that. Also, for those who didn't know, torch here is infinite. So, there we go. Also, we got these berries, and I'm almost 100% sure that these uh, blue berries are pretty good. I think I can even harvest them just by tapping E. Some people didn't know how to harvest them, so you don't have to hold E. You can just tap E and you'll be able to harvest those berries. And then you'll be able to eat them off of your inventory. I mean, they're not that bad if you want to get some health, but they're not perfect either. Okay, so what's the time? It is 17.15, so soon it will get very, very dark. So we have a few solutions. Either we go back to the base and we sleep there close to Kelvin, or we can sleep somewhere further and we should go further probably. Because we have to start getting items in this game. Because I don't even know if I really want to live here. I want to explore this lake over there. Maybe we're going to live close to that lake. There in front of us. Okay, so there's her. Like, there we go, guys. I'm going to give some tips and tricks. So once you see her, be careful. Remove all of your things from your inventory. Uh, excuse me, off of your hands. Don't hold any axes. Don't hold anything. And little by little, you're going to befriend her. Again, I don't think it's really a spoiler. But if we keep being nice, we will befriend her. And later on, she'll be able to protect our base from attack. So just be careful. It might take a while and everything's going to be fine. There we go. That's it. She's just going to mind her own business. She's going to do whatever she does. And actually, it starts dancing here. Okay, she can do her little dance then. But it's getting really dark. I think maybe we should go back to the base. I want to check on fish. So yeah, take care, take care, and we're gonna go back to the base. Let's take a nap. But before we take a nap, as I said, torches here are free, so let's equip here a torch. We can light it up. And there we go. Torch is not that bad, but I really hope that in the future developers are gonna buff the torch, because it almost does nothing. Like, it lights up your screen, but it doesn't light up anything around you. I think it should work a little bit better, as I do think the torch needs some sort of a buff. As it is almost useless. But we are back in the base. Welcome, Kelvin. Welcome. And what about the fish? I don't think it's dried yet. So now let's try to go to sleep. And is it another morning? Yes, it probably is. Let's click on M. It's day two. It's 7 2 I don't know if the fish is dry or not. Nope, I don't think so. So another thing that you should be aware of that in the down right corner, there's like that moon icon and that's your energy. Or whatever that is. So if you're hungry and thirsty, that thing is going to go down. So even if you sleep, your character is still going to be tired. You can remove your tiredness by eating energy drinks. But as I said, for us, we can't really do that. There is a campfire. So how about we start it again just to cook some fish? Because we are kind of hungry. There we go. So let's open this thing up. There we go. Finally, now we can use it. Let's add some more leaves. I don't really know if you have to add it. I don't know if this thing ever expires. But I found some raw meat. Okay, now let's cook that raw meat. We found it in a cave. I didn't really have to hunt it, but it's still raw meat. I have to prep it. 
So let's <laughs> let's eat it. And I think our goal is and I think our goal is going to be to get to that other cave, to get to the other purple mark and explore a bunch of other things as we should definitely do that. There's another thing that we should do. We should get a flask or a canteen or whatever it's called. We definitely should get that. Go. Let's get one piece of meat, another piece of meat, and we can just eat another one straight away. There we go. Let's pop that. And that's it. Now we have more stamina. Everything's great. Let's stand up. So, Kelvin, you can do whatever you want to do. Actually, you know what? Don't do whatever you want to do. You're coming with me. Kelvin, my friend. There we go. And follow me. We're going to tell him that. That's it. It's time for us to go on an adventure. So we could go either to that green dot. As again, I don't remember what's at that green dot. We either go to that green dot. Then we got to go to that purple one. And then we got to go to the cave. So there are lots of things for us to do. So let's just start doing it. Again, this cave is a little bit too hard from what I remember and from what I've seen here. It's definitely too early for us to go there. So I'm not going there yet. Also, when Kelvin follows... Oh, wow, these deer kind of scared me. Also, I'd like to probably mention, I don't think I mentioned it throughout this video, that this is still an early access. Look at this. Can he eat berries once I showed him? Because sometimes you can see him eat berries off of the bush. But yeah, this game is still in early access, so some things will probably change. Obviously, not probably, but some things will be added. Some things will be changed. Like, for example, a lot of people now miss the log cart. They want to have a log cart, and you know what? I don't blame them. Maybe we should have a log cart. Even though we don't really need a log cart right now, as Kelvin is going to be our log cart. But yeah, I can see why some people miss that log cart. Also, there are no boats currently, so it would be lovely to get a boat. I don't really know if there are any islands. Maybe there is an island somewhere. But yeah, it would be nice to craft some sort of rafts, some sort of boats. Because I think in the forest, not I think, but I'm sure that in the forest we had a raft. I think also a lot of people mentioned that Sons of the Forest has less traps than the forest, but I'm almost sure developers are going to add more things. And at the moment of recording this video, 10 days from now, we should get another update in this game. And rest assured, I'm definitely checking it out. Okay, time for us to go a little bit lower. And I mean, just look at this. Look at the path here. Look at the trees. Look at everything. This game is beautiful. Okay, so over there we have that green dot thing. I don't know if I trust it. I totally don't know if I trust it. I think that's another cave probably. Okay, Kelvin, so stay here. As I said, a quick way to save. Drop some tarp on the ground. And that's it. I don't know if they're going to fix this later on. I don't think they should be fixing that. Because the forest was hard as you couldn't really save anywhere. It was pretty hard to save. You had to build something. You had to build like a really kind of expensive structure to save. So this game is a little bit easier. It's more beginner friendly. I don't know. And plus, it's just less annoying to save. Look at the... Look at the water going down. Look at the, here, this little stream. It's just beautiful. It's just lovely. Okay, so time for us to get back here. Let's go in the cave. I'm sorry, Kelvin. But I want to hop inside of this cave. And I want to see what it is all about. Also, I didn't show you, but there is LED in the backpack. And you can even change the color of the LED. So let's go back to where it was this one. Let's get the torch. Let's obviously light it up. So yeah, the torch does help a little bit in some spots, but not always. Oh, so this must be something nice then. Okay, what is this? Okay, so this is going to be the 3D printer cave. This is amazing. We have to get here. Wait, we found something. Oh, these are batteries. We definitely need to get batteries. I want those batteries. I'm going to use those batteries for everything. Everything, aka the flashlight. Let's get here a bunch of arrows. That thing might be useful. Wait, can I hit the laptop? Yes, we can hit the laptop with the torch. We also found here a book about parallel universes written by Timmy LeBlanc. Let's get this stuff. And I think we've gotten more food, which I don't really need. So this 3D printer, by clicking R, we can print different things. We can print here a mask. We can print here grappling hooks, tech mesh, a sled, which is kind of important. And yeah, I want to get this flask here. It costs 100 milliliters of that 3D printing goop. So, yeah. And I am almost 100% certain that these places are safe. Unless in hard mode, something is different. But I kind of doubt it. So there we go. Let's get this flask now. So this flask is going to be very important as with this flask, we'll be able to get water. So in case if we go somewhere further and if we ever need to drink, we'll have a flask now. 
that is epic. There are some more things that we should print. Lots of people suggest printing this mask. I tried printing it, but on normal mode, I don't know, it doesn't really do much. It's just easier to fight those cannonballs, but... I'm gonna try to play around with this mask a bit more, especially now once we play in hard mode. As I said, I don't really know why I set this game in hard mode, as it was already relatively hard on normal mode. I just maybe wanted those cannibals to have a bit more health, but I don't really want them to do more damage, as I think that they already do too much damage. They can already, like, two or three hit you. That's definitely too hard. We can craft some grappling hooks. I don't think I've ever used a grappling hook in this game, as there is a grappling gun, and I've never used it. <laughs> so, there's that. Also, we should be able to craft a sled. But do we really need a sled right now? I mean, probably. How much of the 3D printing goo we have? We have 500 milliliters, obviously. Let's add it. Now we should be able to print this uh, sled. There we go. Let's 3D print a sled. And basically, this thing explains that we can craft our own tech armor. Wait, I can hide probably this lighter. So I've never really crafted this entire tech armor because it's kind of expensive. As to print this entire thing, first of all, we need to have a bunch of the 3D printing goo. And uh, second of all, you need to have a bunch of batteries. And batteries are the hardest things to get here. So I think that's it. We've gotten everything there is to get. Wait, I want to get back my torch here. So let's get it. So it was definitely worth it to come to this place. Absolutely. As I wanted to get to this 3D printing cave. So let's explore what else this place has to offer. Okay, we've gotten another watch. And is there anything else we can get? More wires. Wait, what can we even craft with wires? I don't remember. Uh, we can craft tech armor or a time bomb. Time bombs are also very hard to craft as you need whatever they're called coins and you don't really have lots of coins in this game i think throughout 15 hours i mentioned those 15 hours many times <laughs> but yeah throughout my entire playthrough of the forest and we don't have here a key card but yeah throughout my entire playthrough here of sons of the forest i think i found maybe like 20 or 30 coins and that's it so coins are very rare oh there's also a roomba you can even hit it i didn't know that wait let's sort of flip it around is it possible to flip that roomba around oh yes it's possible yeah. There we go. I want to flip it back here. I'll feel better. So let's sort of leave this cave and let's go outside. I don't know how far we are from that purple dot, but I want to get to that purple dot as one of those purple dots is going to have a flashlight. So I think that's one of the most important items. I think every player, once they start Sons of the Forest, they have to get that flashlight as... I think caves are like straight up probably bad without the flashlight in this game as it really changes the atmosphere in that cave. It's amazing. Go. Let's hide this thing. We've looted this thing, so now we gotta go towards the purple dot all the way there. Let's go for it. I think that's gotta be the flashlight. Maybe it's not. Maybe it is. In any case, that's the best item to get in this game. I'm almost certain that without the flashlight, I wouldn't love Sons of the Forest as much, as I really do believe that flashlight is everything, and I'm not even kidding. Oh, wow. This is beautiful. This thing is beautiful. Wait, let me get my axe. There we go. This thing is amazing. Also, in the winters here, tiny bodies of water freeze over, which I think is a nice detail. And I already see one of those cannibals. Two of them! That's not lovely at all! I mean, will they knock me out? Probably. Do I really want to fight them? Maybe. I don't think we have to fight them. Maybe let's try to avoid them. I think that's gonna work. They might attack me first, but I'll just try to avoid them. Oh no, they're coming after me. Those schmucks are coming after me. They are usually pretty nice. But they will attack you first. And I think that these cannibals, or whatever they are, they're a lot less hostile than in the forest. As in the forest, those cannibals just go for you. Unless, again, on hard mode difficulty, they're a bit different. Okay, so let's just follow this path, and then we'll take a turn. Okay, it's already 11.07. So we're kind of burning daylight. But yeah, this place is beautiful. Look at this. There's the waterfall. So we don't see it behind those trees. And for all the base builders out there, don't worry. We are going to be building a nice base with everything. I just really wanted to find a nice spot to build a base. And I think this has got to be the spot. Unless this ain't the spot. But I'm almost sure that it is the spot. There we go, guys. It is the spot. That's it. So it is beeping. Oh, no, 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 no. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. You can... You have to go here. You need to cut this rope down. We're gonna pick up all of that stuff. And now let's go lower. Okay, let's sort of jump down here. Let's go over here. Now we should be able to loot that body because it was hanging from that rope. So it must be one of the B team members from that other thing. They're gonna let's hide this thing because it's beeping a lot. And that's it. We can get the bottle. We can loot this guy. So we can get a GPS locator. 
We can get more batteries. And there we go. Finally, we've gotten a flashlight. That's what we came here for. So during the day, the flashlight is kind of pointless, but it is amazing in caves. I don't know what developers have done, but the flashlight is just amazing in caves. It is the best. That's it. I don't think there's anything else we can kind of loot. We have here some cooked meat. Sorry, let's eat it while it's still not rotten. Let's eat some of that. And I think we've unlocked some new recipes so we could craft a repair tool, a crafted club, which I don't really know if it's better or not. I've never crafted it, but let's probably do it. I got one rope for the crafted club. We need a skull. This is my first time crafting it. There we go. Let's try to combine it. I don't know if it's better or not. Let's see it. So let's try to put it back. This spear does this amount of damage. And this thing is less fast, but it does... It's the same amount of damage. It has more protection, though. This crafted club has more protection. But still, this tactical axe is probably better than this crafted club. But, I mean, we could equip it. But is it any good? And it's kind of slow-ish. So, you know what? It's still... I'd rather stick to my axe. I get it's an early access, so I'm sure developers will change maybe the damage of these weapons. Like, for sure. Okay, so now let's open up the map. Oh, no more. Schmucks are yelling. As I said, I wanted to try to live either there or there. When that river splits... Um, maybe we could try to go there. I don't know. There's something in the middle of that island. Maybe we can live in the middle of the island. Or at least we could try. Plus, down there, there is a camp. We should go there as we need duct tape for things to build in this game. Because I'll definitely need to build armor. And to build armor, we require to get bones. And bones can be gotten by burning those cannibals. But we also need probably duct tape and rope. And those things can usually be found here. So, yeah, let's turn off the radio. And let's try to load this camp here. And let's see what else we got here. Oh, we've already gotten a better axe? Modern axe? That's where we get it? Really? I mean, okay, let's try to equip it then. Let's go over here. Let's get that modern axe. So now we can just get it. And there we go. It is already better. I really didn't know that it's so easy to get it. I thought we got to go in some sort of a cave. Because I thought that's where we get it. But I kind of forgotten that we get it just here. Okay. Now, finally, we've just saved the game here. So in case those schmucks attack us... We are probably going to burn them, as this way I'll be able to get some bones. At the same time, maybe, like, there's some sort of an achievement. Hey, get out of here. Stupid muddy. I don't want to attack them first, but if they attack me, I will attack them. So I don't want to be the guy that becomes hostile. Also, Kelvin's pointing that something's happening. Some things are happening. All right, let's get the cases. Suitcases, and is there anything else? I don't know. I think we've looted this entire place. Sadly, I didn't get many things. I don't think I've gotten lots of duct tape or lots of rope. But we have gotten something. So yeah, I think I... N Can I loot this guy? Uh, nope, we could only drink some water. But yeah, I want to go straight now. There's going to be some sort of body of water. And in the very middle, we can see that there's like a tiny, tiny, tiny island. Which I don't think it's even called island. I'm pretty sure there's another word for those things. As we are kind of already on an island. And it on an island, there's another tiny island. How is it called? Do you just call it a micro island or something? I don't know. But hey, that's where I wanted to get to, guys. Look at this. It's beautiful. It is absolutely gorgeous. This is amazing. So that's where I kind of want to build a base. Let's get back our GPS. Let's get this modern axe. Oh, no, that's not where I want to build the base. Wait, wait, wait. I take my words back. Oh, I still... I want to go there-ish. That's where we'll go. That's not... That's not the place yet. But hey, this thing is pretty regardless. This thing is very pretty. So we could build something. I don't know if we can build bases on water. Uh, maybe. There are some turtles. We could get turtle meat. I was never... Oh, no, no, no. I was never able to get a turtle shell. Will these things attack me? Maybe we can just use a spear instead of that thing. <laughs> Let's get it. Okay, I got lots of damage, so they will four shot us, three shot us. I'm almost dead. I'm almost dead. Like, already, that's it. He just spawned out of nowhere on the other side. That's it, I'm dead. So let's see what they're gonna do to us. So just like that, they get us in a snap of a finger. I'm also, if I'm not mistaken, I don't think they can kill Kelvin or anything. So these other cannibals got us if they are cannibals. Looks like they... Do they fight them? Or no, I have no idea. There's this big guy. There are things happening here. 
Yes, I am alive now. Okay, they captured me, ladies and gents. They captured me. That's it. I just stood up now and we have to go and get our backpack. Where is my backpack? There we go. There's the backpack. There's the backpack. Let's get it. Hopefully I don't get knocked out again. Just pick it up faster, mate. That's it. We got to go back to where we were. And where I was, I was somewhere over there. Do I really have to go back there? I mean, probably not really. Oh no, this guy's coming after me. That huge guy is not playing around. That huge guy is not messing around. I'm basically food here for them. That's what they see me. You know when you hunt a deer and you run after a deer? That's what that dude sees me. Okay, okay. He, he just showed me that he's coming back for me. Okay, they're chasing me. Whatever, I'm running away. But yeah, I just wanted to say probably that those cannibals cannot kill Kelvin. I might be mistaken. But I really don't think they can damage Kelvin. I think the only way to kill Kelvin is if you actually kill him. But if they damage him, I think he's just going to stand up. Everything's going to be fine. So yeah, now I'm searching for a nice spot to live in. So yeah, definitely it's going to be hard. Maybe playing in hard difficulty wasn't a great idea because they just do an insane amount of damage. This thing is beautiful. This place, ladies and gentlemen, it is amazing. Also, maybe a spear against these muddies or whatever they're called. It's not that great, but having something else is better. Like an axe, because I think you can two-shot them with an axe, at least in normal mode. Maybe with three shots. I don't remember. It's been a while. But yeah, how about we live there on that other island, on the mini island? I don't think you can reach it on foot, so what if I just live there? Maybe then we'll build a bridge? Would be cool if we could build a drawbridge. If that's possible, that would be lovely. I don't think I've ever been here. I know if they can swim to another side, and I don't know if there are sharks here. But I want to swim to this place. Maybe it will be somewhat protected. Like, we'll build lots of logs around this thing. Uh, Calvin will help us build that stuff. And maybe we'll be somewhat, some way here protected. I'll deforest this entire place. Hmm. Okay, there's something here. We've got more cloth. Another rock. Yeah, I think this is a nice place. Check this out. We can build lots of sticks here. We can build here a huge, huge fence. I already like it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is gonna be awesome. Except I need to restore my health. I need to go and take my meds. There we go. Let's pop them. I wish I knew how to get meds as we need it. Wait, I shouldn't have maybe eaten that as I still wasn't too hungry. Okay, right, let's get it. Let's pop the meds. I need to learn. Oh, by cook by eating meat, I have restored some of my health. So you don't have to uh, pop meds all the time. Okay. 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 So yeah, we're just gonna put lots of logs all around this place. Like, doo, doo, doo. It'll take us like probably hundred logs. So this is going to be a struggle, but we are going to do it. Oh, we can chop this tree down. Cause this is a tree probably. Okay. I'll chop it down then. Oh, this is like a smaller tree, but it only gives us sticks. So we can go and clean this place out. Hey, Kelvin! Don't you know how to swim? But yeah, I don't really know if it's possible to build a drawbridge, but this place is going to be lovely. And hopefully you like this idea as well, because I'm absolutely loving it. Okay, so let's try to chop some more of these things down as we're going to clear this thing out. I don't know if grass respawns. Maybe does, maybe doesn't. Let's start chopping this thing down. I want Kelvin to come here, though. Like he should definitely be able to swim. I have no idea why I chopped this tree down from the middle. There we go. We've gotten even more sticks. Can I chop this thing down from over here? Uh, that said, I just destroyed it fully. There goes Stomp. No more. Stomp does not exist. I don't know if they can come after me. But I heard some more of those schmucks. Okay, Kelvin is definitely stuck. They're going to attack Kelvin now. They're going to destroy him. But I, I'm going to get closer. I'm going to try to move around here. And let's try to chop this tree down. We've gotten a few logs. Can I chop this thing down? Oh, there we go. Just destroyed the stump. Let's pick this up. This up. And we might start building perhaps from this side. Oh, we can add it. Nice. Bloody lovely. Let's add, guys, one of those. Boom. Another one of those. Boom. Look at this. Now we just need a bunch of these logs. <laughs> we need like a thousand more logs and that's it. Yeah, I do believe that we need probably a thousand more logs. There we go. Let's just add it. Except here it kind of snapped, but here it didn't snap. But I think everything's fine. Okay, so let's try to add some spikes so that it looks actually cooler. And yeah, now we just need to do this a thousand more times. And uh, it's going to work. I think we can also go through here. There we go. Another one of those. 
This is going to be the best base you've ever seen, and you already know that. And you already know that. Let's go for it. Let's add more things. At least we can put that stuff in the wall. But I just heard one of those schmucks. I don't think they can spawn here, correct? They cannot get to me. I don't think so. All right, let's cut this down. We should maybe build here a tarp. Wait, we will build here a different shelter. But let's build a tarp real quick. Let's add a stick. And this is going to be somewhat of a base. Again, to, to make it a permanent base, let's add more sticks. For those who don't know, you don't have to have only one stick. You can add two sticks for it. Or you can even add more sticks. You can add a third stick, for example. There we go, with three sticks. It looks lovely. You can add even a fourth stick. There we go. So just to prove that this is my permanent base and I'm committed to it, I'm adding four sticks. And that's it. Now we can save. So there we go. Let's save the game. And I'm curious if those cannibals catch me again. Will I die or will they cook me or, or not really? How about I chop this thing from over here and hopefully it falls that way. That'd be perfect. Hopefully it doesn't fall on the base. <sighs> Okay, so it falls there. That's good. It fell the perfect way. I wanted it to fall here. That's it. So let's add some more fence around this place. Okay, so we can add one more here. And another one here. There we go. Lovely. <laughs> let's cut this. I am liking it. What other game does that? What other game is so cool? Oh no, what's going on with these logs? Okay, okay, I just praise this game for being awesome. But look at what it does. I've created some logs, what is going on? <laughs> uh, it, that's how physics work, yes. Don't pay attention to that. Also, I think if I'm gonna walk through this base, it'll break. And yes, that's a base and I will be calling it a base. Because that is a base. Okay, let's add one of those and another one of those guys. We are building the fence. It is amazing. It's coming along very well. The base will be totally protected. Oh, that's a, these logs have stopped jumping. That's good. I want to get rid of the stump, though. Because we totally don't need it. There we go. We have cleared our island. I'm just curious if I reload into this place. Will things disappear or will things regrow or something? I don't know. In any case, let's get one log. Maybe I can push them. Well, let's sort of push these logs. Because, oh yeah, it's going to be impossible to bring logs here. And you might be like, well, it's like, why did you build the base here? I think it's going to be more fun. Because you can't just swim with logs, so you'll need to build something first to bring these logs here. So I'll maybe have to build a bridge first to run. But at the same time, if we build a bridge, then cannibals can get here. Hmm. So many questions and yet no answers. I'll need to think about it. We'll need to do something. Oh, I see him. I see him with a flashlight. Kelvin, is that you? Kelvin, god dang us! What are you doing? Is Kelvin stuck here forever? Wait, I want to go up before I die. <gasps> let's breathe and let's try to help Kelvin out. If we can't do it. Kelvin. Kelvin, god dang us, follow me! I think that's it. Kelvin might be stuck underwater. Maybe or maybe no. Well, we'll have to do something. We'll have to live here then. We'll need to find a way to bring logs to the other side because we can't really do that now. We'll need to build maybe like some sort of a way. I feel on what we'll have to do, we'll have to build here some sort of stairs. Then we'll need to connect rope to another side there and then we can send logs on the rope. I've seen people do that. You can do that in the forest. And wait, is that another helicopter? Did I just find another helicopter? Bruh. Oh no, these dudes are already dead. And they've been dead for a long, long, long time. Okay. So who... Are they? Obviously, they didn't come with us. That's not the second helicopter, even though it looks like that heli. Okay, so here is she. I oh, know the Mahdi's are coming now. I'm sorry, but those schmucks, Mahdi's. That's it, got it. That's it, don't worry. I'm not gonna hurt you. Okay, we've gotten batteries. I want to have more batteries. We should bring that stuff to the base. We got to find a way to store batteries. Hello? Maybe I can show a lighter. There we go. I have a lighter. Hopefully no one else is going to come here. That's it. I'm showing her that I'm peaceful, that I'm not doing anything. So don't worry. That's it. She just ran away. 
Fair enough. Totally fair enough. Okay, there's a muddy. The mud is disturbing. Oh my goodness. That's it, I got him with three heads. So yeah, using axes on these guys is a lot better. There we go. Don't worry, I'm hiding the axe. Okay, so she says to stay away. Okay, I'm staying away. Unless there's somebody behind me. That's it. We gotta communicate here. We have to progress. There we go. She's gonna dance again. Okay, so she's not happy. There's another schmuck muddy. It is super duper dark here. So let's try to find a way. That's what I said. The flashlight is amazing. Oh my goodness. With the flashlight, we can see things. And it's atmospheric. That's it. I'm going to another side. I have to sleep. I'm sorry, Virginia. But it has to be done. I don't know if these other smucks can come to us. In any case, what I do know, though, is that we are going to go to sleep. There we go. It's another beautiful morning, if we can call it a beautiful morning. Kelvin is still underwater. Hopefully, everything is going to be all right. But Kelvin, there we go. Let's drink because that drinking thing blinks. And if we don't drink, things will go kind of south-ish. Now we need to eat. But to eat, we got to get fish. And my fish is drying there. God dang us. Do I have to go back for the fish? I mean, I don't know if I can eat these berries. I think I can. Maybe let's try one. Well, I ate a yellow berry. It doesn't restore any health. I'm gonna gather all of them. Salmon berries. Let's get those salmon berries. Let's get those other berries. And then let's sort of eat them. I mean, it's not perfect food. All right, but that is something. That's it, my inventory is full. Cannot get more berries. Sadly, they're almost pointless. Unless maybe you can collect those berries and combine them and get like a berry mix. How about I add... Oh, you can't even combine these berries. There are blueberry seeds. Does that mean you can grow your own berries at the base? Maybe. I just wish maybe there was a way to combine them. Hopefully developers are going to do that in the future. Maybe there is a way like to make some sort of jam that will restore some health. You know, like 10, 20 berries would craft you a jar of jam, maybe. I think that would make more sense because currently eating those berries takes a long, long time. And it doesn't restore much health. There we go. Perhaps some food. There we go. Let's get it. That is something. Because I am starving. I have gotten raw meat. That's good. Another bird here. Let's get some feathers. And that's it. I cannot get meat from that bird. There's this thing. That's it. Let's try to harvest it. There we go. I do know there's a cannibal in front of me. But hey, what we have to do now is... Wait, let's try to pick this stick up. And I can break it. There we go. Let's break one. Let's break another one. So it's another tip and trick on how you can start the fire faster without opening your inventory. You can just find one stick on the ground and that's it. But hey, let's go here now and let's dry... Let's cook actually. Let's not, let's not dry it, but let's cook all the meat. We have here some cash. We have 10 cash. We have 9 cash. So it doesn't matter. We can just burn all of that stuff. And let's get some meat. Finally, that'll be something. I guess it's possible to build bridges. Like, there, there has to be a way to build the bridge. Because if it's not possible, then we'll have two bases. One base here and another base outside. But it should be... There should be a way to build bridges. If there is no way to build a bridge here right now, today, then I'm almost sure that there will be a way to build a bridge later on in the game. Maybe during the next patch. I don't know. There has to be a way to build bridges. So I got good and bad news. Good news, Kelvin is still alive. Bad news, he jumped in the water again. Oh, there's a rope bridge. So there's a bridge like that. There's a way to build a rope bridge then. Okay. Will I have to build the rope bridge for this thing? Or can I just build a normal bridge? Maybe it's gotta be a rope bridge. And tents and basic fires and that's it. So if there is no way to build a normal bridge, we'll be able to build here a rope bridge. But we're gonna start working on that bridge and improving the island in the next episode. So subscribe to not miss that video because I cannot wait to improve this island here. I want to see how this island is gonna come along. So I highly suggest you check it out my The Forest Let's Player. Click on the second card and look at my Days Gone Let's Player. Hop over to my channel, go to playlist, and there you'll find a lot of other games that are played here on the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely make sure to drop the subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos. And consider following me on Instagram or Twitter at Epicyric. Mm -hmm. Yup. Yeah.